it's up like sixty percent. Can I ask you something? I've heard so I've I like I know Texas is a wonderful place to live live in and stuff like that socially. But one thing that I did hear about Texas is they've been cre- a lot of areas in Texas have been creeping up that that money you have to pay on real estate on the back end. Oh man, the taxes right now. Like this last year, I'll, I'll just say it. On my house, it jumped almost sixty k in one year. How, is is it because the the counties are increasing the, the 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 property tax, or is it because the properties are increasing in price? Which I think one? the properties are increasing in price. Okay, okay. You know, so the value of the homes are going up, and then you know the infrastructure that they spend, they need that money, so they're forecasting that. It's interesting, you know, the actual the house tax itself is not that big of a deal. It's the school tax. And what are we known for in Texas? Big schools, man. Mm. You know, and so it's um. Go Texans. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's what's that? Oh, dude, it's insane, bro. It's 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 insane. I will say Texas cucks out all of the schools, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. Dude, yeah, like we have schools like that. Are like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like That's like crazy. literally like bigger than like they're just about as big as an NFL stadium, some of them. Like wow. I mean it's just insane. Like huge. And so, like, when you look at that, that's the problem with the whole situation is the taxes, I think, too. Because once again, I, you know, I have a house. I don't have, I don't, I don't have a mortgage. Yeah. You know, but I'm making a mortgage payment on my taxes. <sighs> Let that sink <laughs> in. So the people that are getting wrecked out for 3,500 bucks a month. They also you know, got, they also got the other thing too. Yeah. They have they, double they, mortgages. Like, they have yeah, double mortgages. Yeah, yeah. So think about that, man. So it's like, you know. You know, it's just making the move to not have any kind of liability at all is okay. where I'm at. So where in Texas roughly do you live? I live in Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay, so in Dallas, so in Dallas, right? What's the average price of a house in Dallas? Well, like in my neighborhood, they're running for anywhere from seven fifty to a million. Okay, so let's just say seven fifty, just to make it more like, what would someone pay in taxes on a seven fifty thousand dollar house? Uh, about twelve thousand a year. Twelve thousand a year. In, so so they have an extra thousand dollar a month payment on top of whatever they're paying uh, on top of their mortgages yeah so so if you had let's just say you had like let's just say you had a good interest rate what would someone pay on a 750 house in terms of a mortgage 30 year fixed i'd like that three or four percent back in the day i don't know i'd have to calculate that out i mean i never had a mortgage payment right <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm sorry rich guy i'm sorry i you know I'm tough poor, man I'm, I'm a broke carpenter man i'm a poor carpenter man <laughs> it's like, but no, but think about it like that. I mean, that's the that's what I'm that's what I keep going back to is that taxes are, are yeah. astronomical. So you know, people are getting squeezed. You know, with the inflation, obviously, right. I mean, people are getting smashed. It, they've got it the middle class. So let's just say somewhere in the threes. Somewhere in the threes are probably paying in a mortgage payment on like that anywhere from twenty five hundred to three thousand a month. So you're really anywhere from thirty five hundred to four. Th- Four thousand, yeah. So almost that means so basically fifty five thousand dollars a year to stay in that house in terms of capital to stay in a seven hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollar house. And this year's jump on taxes really wasn't that bad. Last year it was one hundred and twenty seven thousand in one year. In one year, I'm telling you, man, it's 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 crazy. It's people, crazy. people have really been telling me that like like te- like even te- there's great opportunities to invest in real estate in Texas and stuff, but. Like properties have exploded in price because people saw how cheap it was to live in Texas, yeah. and it, it, like like the California, it's not just it's not just Californians. It's a lot of people in a lot of other states. People just because ta- te- uh, California, like I, I'm defending California just a tiny bit here with a slander here, but like I know California, like they've had high prices, they've had high taxes and stuff. But there's a ton of other states, their taxes are almost just as bad as California. They just don't talk about it because they're not at the top of the pyramid. Yep. But like if if you're if, uh, as an example as a state tax. Like, like in California, you're paying 13 extra percent. There's some states you're still paying 10 or nine. That's just as bad. That's just as well, bad. There is no state tax in Texas. Exactly. That's the same. So there's the there's the silver lining in it, right? Right. You know, so that's that's a good thing for Nevada us, but, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, right? Is you know you look at that, man. I just don't see how how it's sustainable. That's why I keep saying to myself, okay, I see what's coming in the future. You know what I mean? I see it soon. You know, right. I'm not a doom and gloomer, but you, you, I mean, everybody's like a oh, recession, recession every year. They talk about that, right? Yeah. But you know, you know, I don't see that happening because where I live, I mean, everybody's spending money. Right now, I will, I will say this though. So that could just be because you're in a really good area. You know, you've done all the right things. But um, in terms of where we're at right now, we've been technically in a recession since the middle of 2022. The the White House changed the description of a recession. So it's nor- normally it was two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, and we're in a recession. That happened in the second quarter of 2022. The Biden administration changed it. Well, you know, I know historically for the last 500 years, we've <laughs> I know historically for the last you know 80 years, we've said that this is what a recession is technically. 
but that's kind of a loose term you know like I, I don't like classifying people i don't you know i know there's more than one gender more than two genders three mm -hmm. genders so like well, what we're saying now is like you know um it could be three or four maybe a full year before we call it a recession right that's so, insane but so if I you don't watch the news though there so that you know we we probably went into the depression a slight depression but like if you if you because like if you've seen all the negative gdp growth we've been doing but just as an example we at least been in a recession since the middle of 2022 we're now maybe um this next this quarter is actually think we're starting to go back up a little bit but still real with with if they increase rates under one or two more times they hold that for six more we're going to finally get another dip in the economy again afterwards we we go into this the reason they're going to lower rates and i think the economy is going to start pumping is because we're going to be in the whole circus of the presidential election in the united states and this is when um a lot of senators, a lot of people don't go after anything because it makes parties look bad. This is historically they try not to go after or do any major cases on on an election year because if it blows up in their faces, you see the Republicans can't do shit. Oh, you see the Democrats can't. You know, it's I think neither one of them can do shit. Oh, they can't do. You know, <laughs> no, they can't do shit. But you know, but it just that's a that's just a. I mean, they don't do shit anyways. Right. So that's kind of what's that's kind of what's going on there and stuff. So. um but yeah, I mean, but the thing is, but the thing is, is this why everyone's got to concentrate on their stuff and their business and everything like that? 